it's been a while it's been a while since anything has happened on this channel all the way back in September when my last videos came out welcome back everybody and to those of you who are new to the channel welcome in welcome in and a happy new year to you all I hope you've all had a very good start to the year and welcome everybody regardless if you're familiar to this series or not welcome to Unemployed to Legend on Football Manager 2023. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome to Unemployed to Legend, episode one in FM 23. My name is Craig, AKA Craig's FM. And coming up in today's video, it's the job hunt. We will be looking for my first job in Football Manager 23 and I'm going to be very excited about where we are going to start but before we get into the meat of this job hunts just a couple of things before we get started firstly for those of you who are new to the channel welcome in thank you so much for dropping into the video today and for those of you who are returning after quite a while away for me from actually making videos thank you all so much for returning thank you all so much for continuing to support the videos on this channel it truly does mean a lot so I have been noticing and it's kind of given me that itch to make those videos again so that is why we are here today to make a series that for me I've personally enjoyed in the past so why not uh, see what we can create in this edition of FM what uh, stories what clubs that we will be ending up at now we have done as mentioned unemployed to legend before in previous versions of FM and quite literally you can just end up anywhere that's the beauty of this series now I have will admit I have actually only been in England effectively <laughs> as well as international jobs in unemployed to legend series before but my aim in this unemployed to legend is to finally go abroad for a manager job it would actually mean the world to me or experience new leagues while I'm at it as well I just think it's going to be something that I need to experience sooner rather than later so let's get into the job hunts and these are going to be effectively the rules of unemployed to legend as the name of the series implies i will be starting to save unemployed and looking to find my first job in football management now just to show you what leagues we actually have loaded i've only loaded the effectively the home countries for england and the entire united kingdom now just to let you know i am in england i am a londoner so it only makes sense for me to effectively take my first job somewhere within the uk it it would wouldn't make too much sense for me to go elsewhere except maybe france but even then i'd probably want to stick to as close to home as is possible so i've loaded all the default leagues in england uh, republic of ireland northern ireland scotland and wales so that is exactly where we're going to be starting if i do land a job during this season it could be straight away it could be a few months in could be whenever once I've landed my first job we then try and build that club as much as possible until either we reach the top leagues or could end up moving to another job this is a journeyman type save where I could move clubs move anywhere else especially as I can add leagues in and also I can take leagues out as we go through the entire series so I could end up in Fran adding France, Spain, Argentina, Brazil who knows anywhere in the world absolutely anywhere in the world and of course the whole point of this is to try and rise from the bottom of the footballing world right to the very top so what we have here is my profile as you can see up here absolutely no coaching qualifications in fact actually it just says it there this person has no current coaching qualifications and is a Sunday league football of reputation which is the lowest in the game that you can actually go effectively i am footballing scum i have absolutely no currency in the world of football and i've got a rise from the bottom to the very top effectively the champions league and maybe the world cup maybe it's i say it's optional it depends what nations want to take me on eventually but we're getting ahead of ourselves we need to actually start by getting the actual job my reputation is only five percent so very very poor my attributes terrible naturally it's all out of 20 I, I know absolutely nothing in football so we just come to the job center now and I have had a quick look in here just to see well just to get the filters going because they take ages for some reason on this game 
to actually load properly but just to have a look at what jobs are actually currently available now let's be honest here I'm not getting the Luton, Wigan or Bournemouth job am I? I mean I'd be very surprised if I did but <laughs> yeah, I think it would be desperation if Bournemouth for example gave me the job so let's just see realistically what I'm probably going to be aiming for and I'm looking at the likes of Scunthorpe all the way up to Swansea Uni, Swansea Uni. Why? Why is? Why does Swansea University have a team in Football Manager? I know I've loaded this league, but it just feels a bit off centre. It doesn't feel quite right. Whatever, if they want to take me on, I suppose I can go back to university, relive my student days while trying to lead a team to the top of Wales. Who knows? What we are going to do? This little button here. We're just going to apply for everything. We're just going to throw it all out there and just absolutely see what sticks. All right, like I said, Bournemouth, Wigan, Luton. I'm not getting those jobs. Absolutely not. Not getting them. So what I'm going to do, once they come back to me, hopefully they'll come back to me with a job interview. And when that does happen, I will show the first job interview and we will see how that goes. And hopefully we'll get some offers very, very soon. Because I really want to get into having my first job role as soon as possible. Preferably before the start of the season. Well, that didn't take long. Roughly a week after I applied for the jobs. Two interviews back to back. Dundella, who I believe are in Northern Ireland. I think it's the second tier. Yes, it would be the second tier of Northern Ireland. And where are they actually predicted to finish? Roughly mid-table. So we're not talking a very poor side in uh, Dundella. I'd like to know actually, where are they even based? So, if I go to General Facilities, are oh, they based in Belfast? Alright, so they're going to be one of the major cities. 2000 capacity stadium, only 100 seated. Okay, so it's, an, it's one of those lower league, all ter almost all terrace stadiums. Fair enough. Well, we've got an interview with them, and ironically enough, with Swansea City, uh, sorry, Swansea University. Swansea City, they would not uh, look at me right about now. They are amateur though, mm, with a capacity of 300, and then Simru South, where there's one promotion spot, oh my gosh, that's terrible, that's terrifying. Saying that, they're one of the better teams in the division. They're not terrible, are they? Do they have anyone? Yeah, they've got two players in the dream team, which is, awful, which is awkward, considering if they're good enough, in fact they won that tier in 2020. So they're not a poor team, are they? Alright, I'll tell you what. We're going to attend the interview for both of them. We're going to do the interviews for both of them right now. So, first up will be Dundella. Uh, and, uh, let's have a look. What have we got for answers? You're up for a few jobs right now. Are you hedging your bets? Yeah, of course I am. I'm unemployed. Uh, I know how it might look. It's up to you. I'm doing whatever I can to keep progressing. Screw it. That's exactly the truth. We parted way with our manager much sooner. Can you offer assurances you won't be in for a repeat? Yeah, absolutely. I'd want to stay for a long time. Long time. Uh, what are they asking me to do? Reach the playoffs. Okay. You better be backing me in the transfer market in that case. Uh, be competitive. Reach the last stages. Okay, that's fine. Work within wage budget. Yeah, this is all standard stuff, isn't it? When do they want to be promoted? Oh, God. They want to be promoted in two seasons. Okay, well, you better be backing me. We expect you to change for the playoffs. Do you think you could do better than that? Yeah, I, th I think I can do that. Uh, I'd be happy working with a sl no. I'd be happy working with the proposed wage budget, eighteen hundred seventy. I mean, they are semi-professional, so I don't know what their level is going to be. Uh, I've got no one else to consider bringing in at the moment, so that's absolutely fine. I imagine Swansea Uni is going to be. The exact same. I have done one or two saves in FM23 so far and the interviews are exactly the same uh, as FM22. So it's nothing really groundbreaking but then this is what, this wasn't one of the changes that they made. Um, won't need to expand the size, I'll just go with that. Director of football, absolutely fine. I have no problems with that. I would like to make wide scale changes. Nah. I won't need the budget. What do they want me to do? Record a top half finish. Okay, that's fine, considering you're the sixth best team in Wales. Well, the Welsh League. 
in that Welsh league, not Wales as a whole. Good grief. Uh, be competitive, latter stages, that's fine. Just maintain top half finish. I think that's all you can ask of an amateur club, to be honest with you. Uh, top half finish. You want to finish in the top four? No. I think that's a fair target to aim for. No, that's fine. We're just going to leave it at that. We're not going to vote the boat. And we are going to see if they will offer me the job. I have no idea how many days it could take until I find out. A few clubs have already um, rejected me as Banbridge have just offered me a job interview now. Yeah, St Albans, Wigan, Bournemouth, East Fife, they have rejected me. I'm going to do the job interviews. I'm going to do the rest of them that I get if I get any more off camera because they're all going to be the same as each other. If I do get a job offer, we will come back. And if we do get that job offer, we'll look it over most likely accept and then we'll get it busy with our new club and so just a matter of days later after the interview we've got the job offer Swansea University I'll be honest with you when I did those three uh, interviews I was kinda of thinking Swansea University would probably be the one I would want to go for not just for the facts I mean yeah they're amateur but not just for the fact they're the sixth best team in the JD Simru South I hope I'm saying that correctly. I know it means effectively Welsh or Wales. But also for the fact they have a couple of very good players who we'll, we'll find out who they are in the moment, but I wonder if we're actually going to be able to see them actually play for us. Because if they're that good, they might be snapped up. They might be snapped from us before the season even starts. I'm assuming the season hasn't started? No, it doesn't start until, oh my god, it's at the end of the month. We literally have about three weeks before the start of the season. So let's get into the negotiations. Let's see what they're going to be offering me, apart from zero in the transfer budget and no wage budget. Again, they're amateur. They have no wages. Oh. Well, it's not much of a negotiation then, is it? If it's an amateur contract. So I'm... Part-time job it is then. I'm going to guess I'm going to have a job at the university. Maybe I'll teach something. Maybe I can do the lectures finally. Be more entertaining than the lecturers I had when I was at university. Um, yep, still top half finish. Cups, fine, whatever. Just basically maintain the top half finish. I think that's all they're expecting. You know what? We're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with the Swansea Uni job. And we're going to work at the university while we're at it. Looks like I'm going to have to do a job search at the uni. Unless they've offered me something there as well. I still say lecturer. Okay, here we go. Swansea University hire Walsh. They have confirmed me as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 30-year-old. That's fine. 30. Oh, God, yes, yeah, the first time in FM. I'm going to be a 30-year-old. Ay, ay, ay. And he is sure to face plenty, of question, uh, face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Swansea University Sports Centre. I'm guessing that's our home ground then. Uh, David Doria was considered to be the favorite for the job but it moved in a different direction yeah they moved in the way of inexperience and let's have a look reputation half a star oh my gosh uh, Swansea University I'm assuming that's Welsh for Swansea University I'm gonna have fun pronouncing some of these Welsh teams by the way my director of football is Daffod Evans John Beale is my assistant manager at least I've got an uh, assistant manager at this club finally and they've enjoyed their best spell ever of success and that lost trophies in 2020 oh okay yes i think we identified that didn't we yeah the simu south fair enough we do have players here thank goodness i didn't look or rather didn't focus too much on the squad page when i was looking at this club before possibly a 4-2-3-1 if so that would be fine that's one of my favorite formations uh we know about the club vision already and want players under the age of 23 for the first team. I'm assuming that's going to be uni students. Probably. Right, we don't need any of the tutorial stuff. Uh, don't need reports every week. Giving them every fortnight. And here we are. First job already. Swansea University. An amateur club. This is exactly what I wanted Unemployed to Legend to be. Just start at the very bottom with a club who realistically would probably consider me. And none more so than an amateur club. That's just the absolute reality of it. Uh, the supporters profile, I still can't get used to this to be fair. It's it's a good idea, I quite like it. But I'm yet to see how it really changes. I, 
I think it's really further on in a save, like long term, when it will really start to look a lot different. 572 social media, fair enough. Moderate influence on the boards. It's, I still say it's not supporters for the Swansea Uni, is it? It's probably just the uh, students themselves, probably half drunk at all the Saturday games. Uh, the Simu South top half finish. Yep, we know about the cups. That's an extra cup in there. How many cups do they have? The Welsh Cup. The Simu League Tier 2 League Cup and the Nathaniel MG Cup. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, tactics, we'll get into that probably in the next episode once I've gone through all the transfers and we get into the first league games of the season. But for now, let's get into the squad page. Oh my god, I've got Silver Star players in here. Oh wow, no, 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 no. Already. Already, I'm just moving you to the under 19s. Any Silver Star players, get out. Just get out straight away. The age of this squad is quite not as low as I was expecting. We've got a 43 year old. Win Thomas, 43 years old. And this is like his third season here. My goodness, he's been in Wales his whole career. Has he just is he just working at the uni at this point? He's been playing since nineteen ninety six. Oh my god. You you have to be kidding me, right? <laughs> oh my god, I'm forty three year old. Thirty nine? Thirty no, all the way down to thirty two onwards. Tim Hicks, who are you? You're a right back. You who's a striker? You're not a striker. You're barely a right back as well. How is this team the sixth best in this league? How dog do the rest of the teams in this league have to be? I feel like I have my job cut out in this uh, club right now. I haven't even looked at the finances. I'm scared to look. <laughs> £623. Can't we just borrow something from the uni? I'm sure they've got enough money. Obviously no wage budget, we're amateur, no transfer. Oh my gosh, what's the projection looking? <sighs> Where are we going to get the money from? Season tickets. TV, TV revenue. Who, Who's streaming our games? University TV or something? Oh boy, we've got our work cut out for us here. Ability wise, who's our best player? Hubert Matras, who is 21 years old. He's one of those players in the Dream 11. He's a left mid uh, left midfielder. He's also a centre back. Uh, sorry, centre midfielder. If I get my words out. He's also wanted by Pontypridd, who are the division above us. Great, fantastic. We won't see him play for us. Matras is not going to be playing for us at all. Everyone's wanted. Oh my God, everybody is wanted. Who wants Adam Orm is the other player in the dream, in the media dream eleven? Nah, Premier League play uh, Premier League teams want him as well. We're not going to see these two play for us. Don't get too used to these guys. Adam Orm and Hubert Matras they're not going to be playing for us at all, and probably not even Jordan Hughes. Are we even going to have anyone left? Penny Bond, Airbus want him. Pontypridd. They're all on amateur contracts, I assume. Yeah, of course they are. Are we the only amateur club actually in this league? I'll be very interested to see that. Does it say it here? No, it doesn't. Uh, Barry are, are semi-professional, yeah. Barry and Kamartha, they just come down from the Welsh Premier. Oh god, semi-pro. Semi-pro, semi-pro, Jesus, please. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, we got an amateur team. Thank goodness. We're not the only amateur team in this league. You, how do you even pronounce that? Nishi? Semi-pro. Oh, God. Everyone's semi-pro. Just to say, I've not been sacked in FM for a long time. That may or may not change. Based on how we do this summer. Right. What I'm going to do, off camera, I'm going to try and sort 
this squad out, whoever remains, because I don't think Matras and Orma will still be here. I'll be very surprised. I will be absolutely surprised. We've got a squad I just saw there. A squad of 18 players. I'm going to see if I can get a lot more trialists in. And try and improve this squad uh, before the first game of the season, which is on the 30th? Yeah, it's on the 30th. In fact, no, we got a cup match. Oh, I'm not showing the cup match yet. So if we get to the latest stages, then I'll show the cup matches. But for now, we'll focus heavily on the league. And that's in that cup match is in 15 days. Fantastic. Right, so I'm gonna go and try and do a bunch of transfers, of which they've not done any this entire summer apparently. So I'm gonna have to try and get some transfers in. More than likely, lose half of my squad going out, and then we'll be back for that first game of the season against Goitre United, I hope that said that correct, I'm going to be butchering a lot of names Abergavenny, Carmarthen I know, Treflin, Affenlido, Tafswell, Quimbran Celtic, oh <laughs> I hope not too many Welsh people watch my series because they might just be offended by how little I know how to pronounce these names but we will be back with the round up of all the transfers and against Goitre United for our first game of the new season in episode 2. So if you have enjoyed this first episode of the return of Unemployed to Legend, make sure you hit the like button down below and smash the big red subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes coming up. I am hoping to do three episodes a week of Unemployed to Legend and I hope to stick to that, certainly at the very beginning but hopefully throughout the whole series as well. And as for this background right behind me, not in my room but like on the screen that will also be changing as well as we go through cl different clubs unless we somehow stay at Swansea for my entire career and we work something miraculous with them but we'll see how the series actually pans out I am looking forward to the series as a whole and also in the next episode we'll go through more of Swansea University as a club overall but thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode